Assalamualaikum. We are from Sekolah Menengah Sains Tengku Muhammad Faris Petra. My name is Amira. Hi, my name is Nurul Shuhaida. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, and I am Nurin Azwa. The park in front of me will be a solution for our problem. So, what's the problem? Let me show you. Landslides in Norway has injured 10 people. The situation could be life threatening. The landslides triggered by torrential rain and 18 injured. Engineers were out there checking the damage. process which gravity causes rock, soil artificial field or a combination of three to move down a slope. The contributing factors of landslide in Malaysia are reasonably different from the rest of the world. According to a study, the dominant factors in many countries is their geological conditions. However, in case of Malaysia, most of the landslide occur as a consequence of flow design, improper construction, and non-maintenance of slope. According to the findings of Highland Tower in 1993 landslide case, the main causes of the failure were inaccuracy in design, poor supervision during construction, and inadequate drainage system. This also happened when 88 residents of Banglo in Puncak Setiawansa had to move out because of soil movement. There were also a case of landslide in Bukit Antarabangsa that caused by low practice of construction which led to the pipe burst. Similarly, in case of Taman Hillview, it has been revealed that improper design with poor drainage system supplemented with prolonged rain were the significant causes of the cataclysm. In addition, the impact of landslide in Malaysia has given rise to some environmental and social economic issues such as loss of life, damage of property and infrastructure, and lastly, psychological pressure among the victims. Therefore, Based on investigation on the retrospective landslide, we have proposed this project, which is the part that working as a strategy along with strong to the design guideline in order to minimize the likelihood of landslide. Our objective is to create landslide and park preventer so that we can prevent the harmful disaster such as landslide and flood. Next, we want to minimize the cost needed for the damage caused by this disaster. Lastly, we want to create a useful system that can store clean rainwater that can be reused to water plants and during drought so that we can save water consumption. Now, let's take a look at how our project works. We have scrapped the hill off to make it look like stars. This stair-like shape will give support to the soil which can prevent the landslide. So, the soil will stand strong even though there are no trees. Next, the shape of the hill will reduce the friction of the rain flow. This definitely will prevent 
soil erosion that can damage the city. The rainwater will flow through the drain then into the containers. The containers that keep water can store more than 500,000 gallons of water. Next, we split the containers into three segments. This is because if one of the containers is damaged, leak, and other than that, we can still fix it without closing the entire system. If the rain occurs, we cannot use the rainwater anymore as it is dirty. But our project dream is different. Every layer of the stars like hill has a drain. So, the heavy rain will not clog as the part that connects the drain and containers have filters to filter and store water. First, investigate the place which landslide and flood always happen. After finding the place, we draw the planning strategy according to the size of that place. Then, cut the polystyrene to make the land base. After that, we cut off the parts from the polystyrene to make space of the container. After finishing that, curve another polystyrene to make the stair like hill. The next step is to print the window pictures and paste them to the building models. And then, we cut the fake grass according to the plan size. Next, we use the F4 paper for the jogging track. Then, we bought the artificial trees and people to make it look more realistic. For the final touch, we use brush to paint the hill, the underground, and the container. And, we paste the black and grey paper to the side of the model to close the model side of the landslide and flood park preventer. So, how can we bring this park to the marketing level? Approximately, this park costs about 4 million ringgit. This has included the caving and tank installment process. Of course, you must be think that it is somewhat costly, right? But if you think carefully, it is better to spend a lot of money just for once rather than spending the money for the same damage of less light and flight combined over and over again. Remember, prevention is better than cure. In other words, this preventer will prevent both natural disasters, landslide and flood in one time. In the meantime, it is also beneficial for the public due its innovation and development of a ready-made park. It will not harm the citizens in the park during the development. Thus, the permanent protection is ensured able to prevent the natural disasters as this system works for a long term. We hope this project will get a good feedback from our government in order to solve this problem so that the landslide and flood cases in Malaysia will decrease. Not only in our country, we hope that this project will be brought to international level so a conducive and better life will come through.